Mrs. Gray who let me introduce you to her turned up cousin Malaysia Steele <laughs> so yes as the title suggests this is going to be a little video on how I turned my evil wigs unit from a blonde color to this beautiful gray color so this is what the unit looks like straight out of the box this is their 18 inch ombre unit which I had custom made to have one inch roots and the rest of it the grayish color but this looks more of like a dark blonde with a pink undertone more so than gray um, I got this wig with the intention of dyeing it gray but I couldn't find gray to dye I couldn't find gray dyes but lo and behold Adore came out with platinum hair dye which I was excited about how did I not know about this dye so I got two bottles of that with a little bit of conditioner and I'll be using it with my bowl and brush, you know, the usual, the usual. Now with this, uh, this Adore hair dye, it's not going to come out the exact color you think it will. At first I thought it was going to come out like a literal silver color, but no, it's more of like a steel toned bluish blue color with like a little bit of a violet undertone in there also so when I did my test piece this is important you definitely want to do a test piece when I did my test piece it came out very very blue I'm like I don't want this color I'm like it's a gorgeous color but that's not what I had in my mind so I decided to cut it with a little bit of conditioner um, all in all I used about a cup of conditioner with a full bottle of the platinum hair dye the first time around came out with pretty decent results you'll see as we go on so after I mixed it I just put my wig on my mannequin stand my mannequin Aquanetta Bonquisha Jeanne she's looking a hot mess right now she kind of need a facial though right she's looking like look like she had a hard life son <laughs> so um yeah I just after I mix the color, I just put the color on there. It's no special technique that I use. I kind of just slap the color on there, massaged it through, combed it through, making sure everything is evenly distributed. Now this is the one thing I wish I did not do because I seen that the color wasn't coming out the way that I wanted to. So, you know, something I normally do, I mix in the full color and massage it in there and comb it through so it's evenly distributed. But with this color, it made it streaky, which has never happened to me before. So I'm like, I can't have this. So I had to dye it again. But before I did that, I'm like, let me just go ahead and cut my hair. Now for my cut, I didn't do anything special. It's just a basic razor cut lob, which is a long bob. I'm really feeling the long bob this season. I think I've cut like almost all of my wigs in a lob. I think it's like my new go-to length now. No more long hair for me, it's a bunch of lobs. <laughs> so I just, uh, you see me spray it a little bit because I did not want to cause any extra friction in the hair. I really don't want to encourage split ends in the hair. I wish I could find my professional shears because I cannot with this beauty supply store razor. Like I can't do what I really want to do with it. So you'll see me alternating, rotating the razor. So yeah, after it's cut, I went back in with more conditioner and color. This time around, instead of a full cup, I used about three quarters of a, maybe like a half a cup, three quarters of a cup something along that line but I used more color than I did conditioner because I wanted it to be a little bit darker to kind of blend in those you know merge that lighter hair and make it a little bit darker and kind of blend it in with those blue streaks that were in there and the color came out really pretty I'm really happy with the color so after I washed it out and conditioned it again I put it back on my mannequin stand to train my part and when you train your part all you do is just brush your hair you make your part and you brush it down I ended up going with the side part, but I wanted to show you that just for demonstration purposes if you, you don't know what I talk about when I say train my part. So after the hair is dried and everything, I just went in with my flat iron and just created some really messy beachy curls. Because I wanted to, you know, make this hair look a little bit fuller. Because this hair, the wig is not necessarily thin, but it's not exactly 
it's not exactly full too full either it's more of like a natural density which is not bad at all but me personally I do prefer a higher density wig this wig was about hundred and thirty percent density which you know it's definitely not scraggly it's not as thin as my RPG show wig that I had but it's not as full as I, I normally like but I still love this wig anyway it's not a bad thing it's just personal preference so I'm just putting in some beachy curls in there and just I'm not doing any special technique I'm just rotating my iron down the hair strand so it can get nice and wavy I'm not going all the way to the end because I don't want the ends to be curled extremely tight either I really want it to be like this messy I just got out of bed you know you know my my thing just got out of bed got finished doing my boo whatever I like that wild messy hair so this is the end result darling how gorgeous is that color I definitely got it more even there's still blue streaks in there but it's not that bad and it, it gives it a little bit more dimension so it's not full-on gray but I'm happy with it. I love it. I'm still on the search for that perfect gray hair color though. So you will be seeing me doing more gray hair soon with more colors, more hair, and all of that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, if you have any questions, leave it down below. And I will talk to you guys later.